This is a quick overview of how to use the scoring method in Excel. I'm not going to go into too much detail in, in what it shows you, but hopefully this will give you a quick idea of how to use it, Excel to use the scoring method. So here we have three candidates, candidate A, B, and C, and we have five different uh, categories that we're rating them in. Professionalism, thinking out of the box, technical knowledge, demonstrating willingness to learn, and being a hard worker. We've assigned some weights to those to indicate how important we think those different pieces are to our decision-making process. So the scoring method helps us take our the information that we know about how well we think they rank on a scale, in this case on a scale of 1 to 9, and then we can normalize those scores and weight them properly so that we can see who would be a better fit given the scores we've given them. So first we want to get the total. So we just take the sum and we and do that. And then we can just click and drag to copy over. We just need to sum the different ca the different candidates. And then we need to weight the values because the sum these numbers aren't comparable by themselves because we need to be able to sorry they are comparable but they don't weight them um, we haven't weighted them according to how important we think each category is so we need to make sure that we say okay this category is more important than this category so we're going to give this value on this scale more importance in our final decision so we can use the sum product formula, but before we do that I'm just going to type in a formula that shows you how you would do it if you didn't use sum product. So it would just be the value up here times the weight plus the value here times the weight plus value for technical knowledge times the weight and so on down but what we want we'll, we'll just use some product because it simplifies doing that and we won't make as many mistakes so we'll just take this first array uh, and second array and so we can go ahead and make sure that we can just drag this formula across. We're going to make those static, but not the first one static because we want the scores for the candidates to move as we drag and copy this across, but we don't want the weights to move because they're just in the one spot. So we'll just drag from the corner now, and there we go. So then we need to get the percent of best, which is just taking one value and dividing it by the um, the maximum value. So we just say up here this value divided by max and then that value there and let's just hit a 4 so we can make those static and let me drag it across. And then we just want to rank um, this number in those numbers we'll take F4 and we'll drag this across and there we go so that tells us that candidate A given our criteria and given our weights is the best choice um, candidate C is the second best choice and candidate B is the third best choice now we might Want, we might wonder, have we given them the right weights, or have we assigned them the right ratings on our scale from low to high? Um, there's a couple other techniques that I'll show in a different video to show you how to do that.